Welcome back everyone, it's Eric from Ray Kenny. As you can see today, we're going to be cracking open four pre-release kits of the new set, Rebel Clash. I know, you know, a lot of people have been kind of upset, you know, the rest of the Pokemon 2019-2020 uh, season has been cancelled, including pre-releases, but, you know, that's not going to stop us from at least opening up some of these kits that we have here. Uh, luckily, Pokemon is still distributing these, and you can pick them up at certain locations uh, whenever they do come out. I was able to get my hands on them a little bit early, so I'm really excited to open these up. These are going to be the first cards that I've actually opened from the set, and so really excited to see what we can get out of here. So I don't know if the contents of these have been changed. I feel like I did see something about it, but uh, by and large, these are going to be kind of the same. You get like kind of a half-built pre-constructed deck with a promo card for Rebel Clash uh, booster packs and a code card for the online game. And speaking of codes, what we're actually going to do for this video, I'm actually going to be giving away all of the codes that we're going to open up in this video to one of the people who is going to comment below. So if you guys want to win all of the codes that we open up here, just comment below what your favorite card from Rebel Clash is, and we're going to announce the winner on Twitter probably by the end of this weekend. So be sure to follow us on there for the uh, to find out who the winner is going to be. But anyways, getting into this today, let's crack this open. We're going to start with pre-release kit number one here. Now, I figured we'll do four of these just because there's four promos and, you know, maybe we can pull one of each promo <laughs> and complete kind of the set of promos. So that'll be nice. Uh, in terms of the promos, I'm not sure which one I'm really after. I really like Flapple. I think it's one of the cooler cards to come out of the set as far as like non-Ultra Rare. So I wouldn't mind that. I'm a sucker for stage twos, of course, since this, this is Rare Candy. So I wouldn't mind Luxray either, I guess. And we're actually going to get Colossal. So Xander is going to be hype on this. Uh, he actually really likes Colossal. Not a big fan of this card, but hey, it's, it's fine. Okay, so it looks like we have... What is this? Just like a little pamphlet with some info on the set. Just like tips on deck building. So like if you were hypothetically playing in the pre-release, just gives you some tips on how to build uh, like a pre-release deck. So don't really need this stuff. I can get rid of that. So before we get into the packs though, let's open up our promo here and take a look at it. So of course this is going to be the code card to unlock this on the online game. I'm going to set this thing aside though. That way no one gets to see the code just yet. So here we have Colossal. This is going to be our promo. I do like the artwork on this. Maybe a little bit better than the set version. So that's cool. Uh, has a kind of a decent ability. Some energy acceleration for fighting. That's not too bad. Um, so we have that. And I'm just going to take a peek through this pre-constructed deck. We get Professor's Research. That's really good. Let's see. Whisk Cash. That is a rare. Not the greatest card. So you know the Research. That's actually pretty cool couple of Grim Snarls as well. This is a card I've been itching to kind of build around. Probably do it once we get PTCGO up and running with all of the new cards. I'll probably try to experiment with this. But getting a couple of research in there, that's definitely awesome. So we're going to set this thing aside for now. And so we have four packs here. Let's see what we can get. You know, like I said, everything for me at this point is going to be pretty much new. So... I'm basically down to take anything we get, but of course we definitely want to get some some good Pokemon V, Pokemon V Max, all that, all that good stuff. So I'm gonna put our code off to the side here. So let's see. I believe this is still the card trick. And up first we have Toxel. Kind of uh, curious. This card is an uncommon since Toxel is like super. I shouldn't say super hard to get. It's 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 more. I think it's more of an uncommon sort of Pokemon in the games, but that's cool. Uh, Galarian Mr. Mime. We have Snover, P Dove, Galarian Daramaka, Lightning Energy, Charge Bug, Skuntank, Full Heal. Uh, finally getting a Full Heal reprint. Not that anyone cares, but <laughs> I guess it's kind of cool to see it still hang around in the game. We have a Reverse Hollow Morgrim, which is an uncommon. Hey, and we have a Rillaboom V. Right, right out of the gate, we have a Pokemon V. So can't really beat that. Uh, I mean, I'm not particularly excited for the Rillaboom V VMAX deck. I don't think it's bad, but it's not one of my personal favorites that I'm, like, really hunting for cards for, from. So, um, not one of my favorite Vs to get. I definitely think I'm going to be looking for things like Dragapult, uh, Toxtricities, Eldegoss, all of that sort of good stuff. So, I mean, Rillaboom, I, I, I respect it enough to get a sleeve on it at the very least. So, we'll just uh, sit it back there for the moment. So, first pack in, got something good. Really can't complain about that. All 
already. So going on to pack number two here, we have a Galarian Meowth. Really excited about this one. Uh, I think a lot better than the current one since I can just search out the Berserker right away. That could be good for uh, potential Zacian decks out there. Uh, so we have Galarian Meowth, Caterpie, Galarian Corsola. I wouldn't mind Galarian Corsola. I think that's one of the cooler non-ultra rare Pokemon in the set. We have Litwick. We have Shinx. We have Fighting Energy. Bronzong. Uh, Milo. Shuckle. Reverse Hollow Electrode. And... Hey! <laughs> look at that. We got Galarian Corsola. This is not a bad previous kit so far. Uh, I'm definitely really excited to mess around with this card. It has uh, the same ability that the old Gengar from Storefront had. Uh, if it's in your active and would be knocked out, uh, flip a coin. If heads, the attacking Pokemon is knocked out. So I'm definitely very curious to experiment with this card and see if it has any potential. So not a bad pre release kit so far. We have a decent Hollow Rare. We got a Pokemon V so far. Now if we get some like full art bosses orders or something like that, that would be insane. I, I mean, I don't know if we're going to get quite that lucky out of just four packs here out of this first kit, but that's definitely a card I'm going to be on the hunt for. Basically, any of the secret rares would also be great. So here we have Growlithe, Roly Coley, Meditite, Grubbin, Electabuzz, Lightning Energy, Dubblade, Lombre, Hatterim, or Hatrim, I should say. We have Reverse Hall Burning Scarf and a rare Snorlax. So nothing great out of that one and one pack left for pre-release kit number one i gotta say uh just out of these four packs though even if we get just another kind of like dud rare like snorlax i think we honestly have done pretty good on this first kit that we're going to be opening up here so let's see so we have ourselves a metatite milsery or milkery i think it's milsery though Growlithe, impotent bunnelby Grass Energy, Heracross, Electrode, Beware. We have Reverse Hollow Zamazenta, which is uh, it's like an unreleased card in Japan, I'm pretty sure. Uh, not that great, but hey, it's a rare. Hey, and we got Rillaboom VMAX. Would you look at that? That's that's dope, guys. So I definitely don't mind getting the VMAX here. The VMAXs, of course, are harder to pull than the regular versions. So that is awesome. We got the Rillaboom and the Rillaboom VMAX. Same pre-release kit. Can't really go wrong with that, guys. Just out of four packs, a V and a VMAX. So, of course, we'll get a sleeve on this guy as well. So, really awesome pre-release kit number one. You know, our promo was okay, but obviously our pulls here were great. And we got the Galarian Chrysla as well. So, pre-release kit number one definitely turned out pretty good. So, I'm just going to straighten up a little bit. And then we will get over to pre-release kit number two. Alrighty guys, so going on to pre-release kit number two, let's see what we can get out of this one. So we got the Colossal so far. So the other promos, of course, are going to be the Garboder, the Flapple, which is probably the one I'm most excited about, and the uh, Luxray. I think Luxray and Flapple are the ones I wouldn't mind getting the most. Like the Garbodor is, I think, kind of playable, but I don't really like the art on it. I might actually just play the uh, regular arts if I have the choice. Let's see. Oh no, and we got another Colossal. Uh, <laughs> I really, Xander, I, I really hope you're watching this video. <laughs> I know he's probably laughing at this right now. Because um, <laughs> he knows I'm not like crazy about this card, but I remember he was kind of a fan of it. <laughs> Sorry guys, my camera moved a little bit on me there. But nevertheless, I mean, if we can pull like we did out of the, out of the, uh, the first kit though, I mean, I don't mind pulling Colossals. <laughs> Of course, we have a code there, and let's see what else we get in this pack. So, of course, we have our promo, and is this kit any different? We have another research that's always great. This looks, by and large, the same. Yeah, literally like the same exact kit as the first one, but hey, if that means our pull rates are also just as good, uh, definitely will not complain about that. So, we have our packs there, and let's see, just set that there for the moment, yet again. Four booster packs, guys. Let's see what we can get. You now we have the Rillaboom, but I think I'm uh, I think I'm good on Rillaboom for the rest of this opening, if possible. Definitely would prefer some different Pokemon V, if possible. So we have a promo. Going to stick that off to the side there. Or not promo, but a code card. And so let's see. For pack number one, we have a Bunnelby, Vulpix, Phantom, 
Galarian Farfetch'd, Squavit or Squavit, not sure what pronunciation is correct there, uh, Grass Energy, Heliolisk, Burning Scarf, and Didi, Reverse Hollow Charge Bug, and we have a Hollow Galarian Weezing, so at least we have a Hollow. I think Weezing, like, not the best card. I think this card, like, in the future has promise. Maybe as a wall Pokemon, but having, like, the three retreat is really annoying. That means, like, you can't retreat it with Air Balloon, but definitely a card I think could be cool in the future. I don't mind having a few of these uh, just kind of on hand. So we do have another Hollow Rare. You know, we've only pulled one regular Rare out of all of our packs so far, so I really don't mind that ratio, guys. I'm fine with that being the case for the rest of this. All right, so pack number two here, we have Clefairy, Voltorb, Nosepass, Wingle, Phantom, Lightning Energy, Bronzong, Nugget, Skuntank, Reverse Hollow Carcoal, I guess that's fair, that can go with our Colossal that we pulled. And uh, we just have a regular rare Snorlax, yet again, the only regular rare we've pulled so far has been just Snorlax, and it's not a great one at that. I'm trying to think of like, a, you know, I haven't seen, or I don't remember at least what the rarities are for all of the regular rares and hollow rares. I'm not sure what non-hollow rares we're looking for. I think Garboder's one. That one's not bad, of course. Beyond that, I really forget which ones are which. Maybe Arcanine. I think that's a non-hollow rare as well. Don't mind getting some copies of that. Uh, but here we have Phantom, Bronzor, Toxel, Applin, Galarian Darumaka, Fighting Energy, Pelipper, Speed Lightning Energy, very, very nice. Definitely, I think, one of the best cards actually to come out of the entire set. We have Metapod, we have Reverse All Sandy Gast, and hey, we got Cinderace V. So we got the, you know, the Grass V and VMAX already. Are we going to get Cinderace VMAX out of this last pack too? I'd, you know, I'd be okay with that if that is the case. So hey, I'm definitely okay with that. We'll get a sleeve on this guy. You know, by the time this video goes up, we'll have actually posted the Cinderace V and VMAX deck on the channel. So if you are interested in the deck, I'll be sure to have a, uh, a card at the top right hand corner of the screen if you guys want to check out how a deck with this card might look. So that's definitely pretty good. We have, you know, one Ultra Rare. If we can just get like one Ultra Rare per kit, I think, I think we're pretty much doing okay. So we have one extra pack and, uh, you know, basically whatever we get out of this, I'm gonna be okay with, but you guys, of course, know we want that Cinderace V Max or basically any V or V Max other than I think Ice Q and, and Pin Surgeon are the only ones that I really just with all of my heart want to avoid. <laughs> Those are easily the worst ones in the set. So here we have uh, Impidimp, Shinx, Sandy Gast, Roly Coley, Stunky, Fire Energy, uh, we have a Tranquil, uh, Sonia. Pelipper, Reverse Hall Binacle, and a Rare Mandibuzz. Okay, so it's not a Snorlax, which is nice. If we're gonna pull more regular rares, we at least want it to not be Snorlax. So, previous kit number two, obviously we got the Cinderace V, very, very nice. Uh, like I said, as long as we hit like one Ultra Rare per kit, I think we're gonna be good. I do wish, however, we would pull a different promo. I really just hope with, you know, every fiber of my being, these other two kits don't have Colossal. Whatever the promos are, I'm fine with. As long as it's not this one, we we are good on Colossal. Though I guess if we do get one more, that's basically a playset. So, eh, well, we'll see what happens. But let me clean this up real quick, and then we'll go over to kit number two, or kit number three, I should say. All right, so going on to pre-release kit number three, let's see what we can make happen with this one. You guys know, of course, we're trying to dodge Colossal. I think if we could pick our last promos, I think I'm picking Flapple. And like, I probably should say Garboder just because it's more playable than Luxray. But man, I'm a sucker for stage twos, man. I, I kind of want the Luxray. <laughs> but Flapple, I think is the big one. I'd actually be okay with two Flapples. That would be great for me. Okay, so moment of truth is, are we faced with a third Colossal? Jesus Christ. All right, so we have a playset. I mean, you're never gonna play more than three of these in a deck. So we have a playset of promo colossals, I guess. <laughs> oh, that's frustrating, guys. Uh, I mean, we'll open it up. Let's see if they change to any of the other cards in this particular kit. But 
Right now, it's been looking like all these have largely been the same. So, um, research, wish cash. We do get speed lightning in this. That's actually pretty good. Ooh, we did get Shinx and a Luxray. Okay, I mean, so they, they kind of threw us a bone here. Like, it's kind of a consolation prize for not pulling uh, the, the promo, I guess. So, I mean, I guess that's okay. So sit that back there, but come on, we need we need something good out of these packs to redeem that. The good thing is that we've actually been pulling pretty well out of our kit. So if we have to pull colossal promos in order to get like actual decent ultra rares out of the set, I'm okay with that. So let's see. All right, so here we have Stuffle, Lotad, Growlithe, Roly Coley, Metatite, Water Energy, Tool Scrapper, very solid card, Curse Shovel, uh, Masquerain, Reverse Hall Wingle, and a rare Seismitoad. It's not a Snorlax, so that is the, the good news uh, if we are just going to pull a regular rare like that. Okay, so here we have Galarian Darumaka, Hatina, Scyther, Nosepass, Wingle, Dark Energy, Metapod, Heliolisk, uh, Burning Scarf again. We have Reverse Hall Apple. I'm actually cool with this. This is the uh, good one too. It's the one uh, with Withdrawal. So flip a coin of heads, you prevent any damage done to them. Definitely better than the other one. The other one's like grass colorless, flip until you get tails. So definitely wanted a reverse hollow playset of this uh, evolution line in general. Hey, and we got Garboder. So <laughs> this is like kind of the, uh, you know, the previous kit. It's making up for like giving us the third Colossal. It's like, you know, we gave you the Colossal, but we'll at least throw you a couple of Luxrays in your pre-release kit. We'll throw you a Garboder to, to kind of ease the pain. Now, if we can get a Flapple in here, I would also be kind of okay with that too. Just like a regular hollow Flapple. Um, but of course, we want to get something a little bit juicier than that if possible. We want like an Eldegoss or a Toxtricity or a Dragapult or something like that, if at all possible. All right, here's so we have Squavet or Squavet. Still not sure how you pronounce that. Galarian Mr. Mime, Caterpie, Barboach, Aracuda, Grass Energy, Galar Mine, definitely a solid trainer card there. Uh, we have Durant, Electrode, Reverse Hall Sigilith, which is a rare, so that's cool. And just a rare Proba Pass. Oof. So this this third pre-release kit's like kind of trolling us, but hey, we got one pack left, guys. We can definitely kind of redeem ourselves depending on what this last pull is gonna be like. All right, so here we have Hitina, Magikarp, Meditite, Stunky, Grubbin, Fighting Energy, Heatmore, Zatu, Tranquil, Reverse Hollow Stunky, and hey, we got a double V. So we did finally get a uh, Ultra Rare out of this previous kit. I was kind of worried there. We were just going to get a bunch of uh, just regular rares. And double is actually kind of a solid card. I don't think it's like the best card in this set, but. I think this is a solid one of potentially in a few decks. So it has 30 extra, or it takes 30 less damage and then 120 plus 30 for each prize your opponent has taken. So good late game hitter in any deck really that plays energy acceleration. So definitely a good way to close out this third pre-release kit. Still kind of bummed about the Colossal, but we still have one pre-release kit left and fingers crossed guys, please send me your energy. We need to pull something else. Flapple is what we're gunning for. I think that's the one I'm, I'm gonna commit to being on the hunt for but let me clean this third kit up and then we'll hop into kit number four okay Alrighty, so moving on to the final pre-release kit of the four that we're going to be opening guys we've actually been doing pretty good so far and kit four hopefully can just kind of stay consistent if we could just dodge colossal that's the only thing i i just do not want to pull i i'll take any of the other promos at this point but uh, you know, if I have my choice, I'm going to pick Flapple. Flapple's my boy. Definitely one of my favorite uh, non-Ultra Rares from the set. Um, big fan of spread decks and placing damage counters and stuff like that, so I'd be ecstatic to get that. Come on. And uh, we got Garboder. This is probably the one I wanted the least 
out, out of the remaining ones, but Garbag is at least playable uh, with the Toxtricity VMAX, so. You know what, guys? It's not Colossal. That's about all we could really ask for at this point. Uh, and, he, and I guess to be fair, even Colossal is not terrible, but it's just like not the one I was really on the hunt for. So, of course, we'll put that code to the side. So, yeah, Garbutter, I mean, Garbutter is already a kind of a derpy Pokemon, and this artwork definitely is not doing it any favors. Oh, nice, we do have Speed Lightning in here. Professor's Research, we do have a Luxury line, at least. Let's see, we got Grimmsnarl, Research, yeah, and the Luxury, so actually not a bad little pre-release kit that we have here. And ooh, there's no other Garbutter in here, that's kind of interesting. I guess that's fine, though, so... That's going to be pre-release kit number four for our promos and such. All right, so four packs left. Let's make some magic happen out of these. Um, you know, if we could pull one, like, big card, any of the secret rares I think would be fine. Preferably maybe Twin Energy, Scoop Up Net, something like that. Or if we get, like, Full Art Bosses Orders, Eldegoss V. Um, basically, I just want something pretty playable. That's... I guess the only thing I'd be looking for in an ultra rare at this point. All right, so here we have ourselves Squivet, Galarian Mr. Mime, Caterpie, Barbage, Aracuda, Metal Energy, uh, Carcoal, Beware, and yeah, that isn't uncommon, Skyla, Hatram, and Galarian Darmanitan. So yeah, definitely starting to pull a bunch of non Snorlax, non hollow rares at least. <laughs> Um, definitely want to limit those as much as possible. We want to get something good to close out this last pre-release kit with, of course. All right, so here we have the Aracuda. Uh, we have Stuffle, Lotad, Growlithe, Roly Coley, Water Energy, Lampent, Medicham, Beware. Hey, we got Reverse Hollow Glaring Meowth. I'm actually excited for that. And I really love the artwork on this. Like, not only is this the best out of the Galarian Meowths we have, um, but the artwork on this does look pretty cool. So I'm actually pretty happy with that as a reverse. And we have a Hatterene, which is a Hollow Rare, so I think this card looks kind of cool. I think this card's like kind of underpowered though, it's put one damage counter on your opponent's active for each Pokemon and your discard. So it's a stage two that's weaker than Vespaquin and Flareon, which both came out years ago. <laughs> so I think that's a little unfortunate, but I think this card is still pretty neat though. So. Not a bad pull overall compared to the uh, Darmanitan team we got in the first pack there. Okay, let's see. So we have Galarian, Darmaka, Bunnelby, Vulpix, Phantom, Galarian Farfetch'd, Dark Energy, Sonya, Masquerain, Hatrim, Reverse Hollow, Oleana, or Olina, I'm not sure how you pronounce this one. And ugh, a rare Whiskash. So yeah, this last pre-release kit striking out pretty hard. We do have one pack left, guys. So you know we're counting on our boy Inteleon here to help us close out this opening uh, with something good. It's interesting. As soon as we broke the uh, colossal streak, <laughs> we haven't pulled a uh, a Pokemon V or an Ultra Rare or anything like that. So let's see what we can make happen. Uh, there we go. So here we have Galarian Farfetch'd, Squabet. Oops, looks like my rares and commons are starting to mix together there. Sorry. So Galarian Mr. Mime, Caterpie, Barboach, Grass Energy, Beware, Palisand, which isn't uncommon. I'm actually kind of surprised about that. I expected that to be like a rare or a hollow rare or something. We have Training Court, Reverse Hollow Dan, and the last rare of the opening. Fingers crossed, guys. Send me your energy. Let's get something good. Ah, uh, we just got Sigilyph. No. <laughs> so unfortunately, pre-release kit number four was a dud. I think the best thing we got was like the reverse hollow meow. I think that genuinely might be the best card we got uh, out of this one. <laughs> or as far as our rares and our reverses go, at least. I forget what trainers we pulled. But yeah, kit number four kind of let us down here. Uh, however, we still did... Overall, pretty solid. Just to recap, of course, we got the Garboder promo for this last pre-release kit. And as you guys can see, the three glorious Colossals back there. But as far as our Ultra Rares pull, we still did okay. Uh, we basically averaged one per, per kit, which is fine. So we got double the Cinderace V, 
and we got the Rillaboom V and VMAX in the very first kit, which is kind of cool. So overall, not too bad. Definitely nothing groundbreaking, but still excited to be able to show off some of the pulls for the set and what uh, you might expect out of these pre-release kits. But as I said earlier at the beginning of the video, guys, we're going to be giving away all of the code cards that you saw in this. So if you do want to win those codes, all you have to do is comment below what is your favorite card from Rebel Clash. And we will announce the, the winner on our Twitter at twitter.com slash rarecandytcg. I have a link to that down below in the description. So I'm going to commit to announcing that Sunday night. That'll probably be around like 9 p.m. Eastern or something like that. So if you are the winner, feel free to shoot us a PM to redeem your uh, redeem your codes and we'll send them over to you. So that's going to be it today though, guys. As usual, feel free to like and subscribe and consider supporting this channel as well by becoming a patron over at patreon.com slash rarecandytcg or by picking up some merch at rarecandytcg.com. It would mean a lot. really helps making doing these opening videos more financially feasible for us in the future. But with that, I appreciate you watching and we'll see you next time.